Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've uploaded a video for you guys. It has actually been over six months. I am so sorry for that. I seriously never planned on leaving YouTube for that long, but it just, you know, life just happens sometimes. So I am here today to give you a quick life update. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you might kind of already know what's been going on with me, but if you don't, that's why I'm here. I wanna kind of keep you guys in the loop and let you know what's been going on. So just a couple disclaimers before we get started. First of all, I am filming this on my phone because I just wanted to get this out for you guys. So it's gonna be unedited, it's gonna be raw. My hubby's filming for me. So just so you know, that's going to be how it is. Also, I'm sitting near my grandfather clock, so you might hear that a couple of times throughout the video, hopefully only once. <laughs> but those are just some disclaimers for you before we get started. And without further ado, let's get into the update. Okay, you guys, so the last time I filmed for you, it was the end of June of 2021, so crazy. It is now January of 2022. Again, I'm so sorry. And the last thing I told you was we were in Montana, and I let you know in that life update that we were gonna be moving from Montana to Colorado. And I told you guys a little bit of the reasons why, and so if you wanna go back and look at that, you can. Um, and then we did that. So on July 1st of 2021, we relocated from Montana all the way to Colorado. We drive, we drived, wow. We drove in a U-Haul moving truck. Um, me and my husband Richard and my little girl Annabella, we all squeezed in. We had our van, our minivan, kind of behind us <laughs> pulled in a trailer. It was crazy, you guys. It was like a 14 hour drive. We did it in two days but we made it. It was very eventful and dramatic, but we made it and it was amazing. And we got here on the same day as Richard's family. So now we live near a bunch of family and it is such a blessing. So all that being said, that's the last thing you guys heard. We have made it to Colorado, as I said, we've been here six months, I can't even believe it. And I'm just gonna give you a quick little bit of what's happened each month since we've been here, just so you guys are up to date. So July was just a settling month. We settled in to our new home. And it was just, it was awesome and just kind of getting used to it. August was kind of the same. I actually took a trip to California in August for a family reunion. I went with Bella by myself. It was very anxiety provoking, but we did it. So that was August. And so it was kind of a lot of just recovering from that when I got back and still adjusting to the move. And then September happened, you guys. September, oh, it was one of the worst months of my life and I'll tell you why. Basically, at the beginning of September, we found out that one of our family members had COVID. And we were like, okay, we'll just stay away from them, we'll be fine, you know. So we, you know, we quarantined or whatever. And then like a week later, we all got COVID. It started actually with Bella, she got croup, so it wasn't even COVID. She had to go to urgent care and we were like, oh, that's weird, you know, she's got croup. And so we got her over that. And then Richard was starting to say like, I'll have a cough, but I'm fine. And, but then he had to get tested because of work. And so he got tested and he had COVID. And we're like, okay, this is bad. So he you know, took the time off of work, and but I tested negative. So I was like, okay, I'm good. Well, the next day after that, my entire body was on fire and I was the sickest I've ever been in my entire life. So needless to say, we got COVID. I was sick for like a month, honestly. Um, and the worst part about it was that I lost my taste and smell on day, I think day five or six of being sick, which is weird because usually it happens right away, I think. And so that was very traumatic for me. You guys know that I'm totally blind. If you didn't know, well, now you know. And so I've been blind since birth, but I, so I rely a lot on my other senses. And as you might imagine, my taste and smell are a part of my senses and I rely very much on them. And so they were completely gone for about a month and a half, like nothing at all. Actually, I would almost say two months. Nothing at all, you guys. It was terrible. I, to be honest, I cried every night for like a month. I was depressed. I couldn't, I couldn't enjoy food. I was like losing weight. I couldn't enjoy the smells that once made me happy. It was just, it, it was horrible, you guys. And to be honest, it's been four months since we've had COVID. And I still, thank the Lord, um, at the end of the second month, I started getting some back. I could like smell oils and I could smell a little bit and taste a little bit. And now I would say that I have some days about 50%, some days even like 75, 80% of my taste and smell are bad. So I'm very, very blessed, but I'm also scared because it's been four months and it's still not fully here. So pray for me if you can that, I mean, I know that it does come back because that um, part of your brain does regenerate. So it eventually will, but it might take a while. So that's been a roller coaster. Sorry, you might hear the guinea pig in the background. We have a guinea pig and he's drinking water. So there you go. All right, you guys, then in October, 
I found out something even worse than having COVID. This was after I recovered from COVID. I was totally fine. I was just tired still. But I went to a doctor, my routine, you know, general doctor appointment, and she just wanted to do some blood work just to check my overall health. And I was out having fun one day with family, just having a family day. And I got a call from her and she said, you need to get to the hospital. And I was like, what, why? I'm fine. Like I'm walking around, I'm good. And she's like, you need to go get your blood work confirmed because I'm showing that your kidneys are only functioning at 17%. And I was like, what? Like this is, my kidneys have never had an issue. I've been fine since I've been born. Like, what are you talking about? So I went to the hospital thinking I was just gonna get blood work done and go home. And this was in the beginning of October. And they did not let me go home. I stayed overnight. Um, it was horrible. My poor husband slept on the floor. And I found out, um, I had to wait a couple weeks and get a biopsy and all that, but I found out that my kidneys were functioning about 15%, so it was correct. Um, her blood work was correct and I was in very, it was very bad. I, so needless to say, they have no idea why, but they diagnosed me with stage four kidney disease, kidney failure, whatever you wanna call it, um, chronic kidney disease. So. There's a lot of names for it. So basically, I am on a bunch of medications now that kind of stabilize my blood and just like, you know, stabilize the acid level and the base level and all the stuff that gets affected. But you guys, it was so scary. Um, from all of that, I was told that I need a transplant as soon as possible. So that was fun to be told um, when you're 30 years old and you have a little girl and you've been trying to get pregnant for two years, which also, if you've been following my journey, you know from following me a lot last year that we were trying to conceive and we were doing fertility treatments. And um, yeah, spoiler, I'm still not pregnant. So we were wondering why. Well, there we have it. I have stage four kidney failure, so that's why I'm not pregnant. Anyway, so finding all that out in October was very, very, very heavy and very hard for me. But you know what? The Lord was my strength through all of that. And honestly, <laughs> I got through it and it was almost easier to endure that, I think, than losing my taste and smell. I'm not even exaggerating. Anyway, so that was October. November, um, we got, I did my kidney transplant evaluation that they were wanting me to do. So I went to a hospital there, a transplant center here in the state and did my evaluation. It took like six hours. They had to kind of see if I was a good candidate for transplant, which obviously I am because I'm so young. But thank goodness, praise the Lord, I'm not yet um, needing dialysis at this point, which is good. I will if I get too much lower in my kidney function. So yeah, that was what happened in November. Um, last month was December, it was Christmas. You guys know how much I love Christmas, so we had a really good Christmas time. Um, it did not snow here, except it did on New Year's Day, so that was really great. But um, yeah, so Christmas was fun, but it was just hard because I was celebrating Christmas, but then kind of had this heaviness over me of like, you have stage four kidney disease and you need a transplant and what are you gonna do? So kind of where we are now up to this point. So now you're up to date with what's been going on with me. I told you, life is crazy. Life got crazy. So now I am about to be approved to be on the transplant waiting list for a kidney. That list is actually five years long. So because I don't need dialysis at this point, I'm okay with that. So the next step is um, probably at the end of this month or beginning of next month, all my testing will go through and they will approve me or deny me, which I'm pretty sure they'll approve me, to be um, for a transplant. And then I'll be on the list. And it's five years if I don't have a live donor. At this point, I don't think I'm in critical enough condition to need a live donor. If God provides that, then great. But we're just gonna kind of hang tight for five years <laughs> unless something happens and just kind of see how it goes from there. But how I've been feeling, I've been feeling okay. I'm tired, really tired. I have days where I'm like, wow, I do feel it. Cause I, I didn't really have any symptoms, you guys. This came out of nowhere. But I do feel like maybe I do have symptoms. I just didn't notice it because they were there for so long that I thought they were normal. So they don't know why I have this disease. They don't know when it started. They believe it started right after I had my daughter, Annabella, because I was at 41% around that time. And then my last blood work um, a year ago was apparently 17%. So. Anyway, because I went back and looked at old labs. So yeah, this happened kind of quickly. They don't know why. So we're just kind of hanging tight and trusting the Lord. So that's where I am now. That's why I have not uploaded. Honestly, these last few months have been a whirlwind. I would like go to make a video for you guys and then we would get COVID. And then I'm like, okay, I'm recovered. Now I'm gonna make another video. And then this happened. And then I would just want to update you guys on life and then something else would happen. So there's the clock. So I'm gonna wrap this up um, for you guys because I know it's been a while. Thank you for hanging with me. but. 
thank you for listening to this. Um, we're just trusting God and waiting, but that is sort of what's going on. As far as future uploads, to be honest, you guys, I don't know. I have, if I'm being completely honest, I've thought about leaving YouTube um, more recently. I wasn't planning on that. But because of all this that's happening with my health and just different things, also, um, like I said, we are not trying to conceive, well, we can't get pregnant right now. And so we're kind of exploring other options in that department, and I can go into that at another time. But because of all the stuff that's going on with me right now, we're just not sure. I'm not sure I wanna continue YouTube, but I just don't know what it's gonna look like. So I will get back to you guys on that. I'm gonna pray some more on it, but I just wanted to take the time to update you on what's been going on with me. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. I'm gonna try to have a video, um, another video out for you guys at least this month. Um, we're in the middle of January, so I'm gonna try to get one out in the next couple of weeks. Um, and But again, from there, I'm not sure. So I will let you guys know. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.